This is Marco Perez, and we would like to welcome everybody back to practicallyandroid.com, where we go through practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. So, first thing, we were gone last week, basically. Life was busy. However, we are back, and today we're actually going to go over storage. We're going to go over internal storage, external storage, overcoming the problem of not having enough storage, and a couple of ways that you can go about doing that. So first, first of all, let's just explain a couple of things. So your Android phone comes with both internal storage, which is you can think of it as kind of a, a little mini hard drive on your phone, and external storage, which is that SD card that you have on that you have with your phone. Unless you have like a Nexus S or a Galaxy Nexus that doesn't have that SD card, um, the memory is called a USB storage, which is kind of like another little mini hard drive I guess you can think of it as but I'm recording this with a with a Nexus S and I so every time I say external storage it's actually for me USB storage and I just want you to understand that that's one and the same really but the bottom line is that your in internal storage is much smaller than your external storage and the first thing I'm going to show you is how to how to see that or how to see how much storage you have in each so basically all you do is from your home screen hit the menu button and then hit settings and then go to storage and then we see that for example I have 876 megabytes available in my internal storage which is less than one gigabyte yet I have more than 10 gigabytes available in my external storage or aka my USB storage. So that's why it can be really annoying if you've downloaded a lot of apps when it tells you that there's not enough space when in fact you have over 10 gigabytes right how do you fix it well there's really just it's a really easy fix and it's just one button you have to press the hard part is knowing where to find that button and I'm going to show you that right now but before I want to write down a couple of things we have 876 megabytes available in the internal storage and 11.15 gigabytes available in the external storage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to um, transfer an app from the internal to external storage. Um, and so all you do is you hit menu, settings, go to applications, and then manage applications, and we're going to stay on the downloaded tab. Then I'm going to go down and find an app that I'm going to switch over. Uh, this this Pixay, I'm going to just basically all you do is you tap it. And there's different buttons on here, and right here under storage, there are two buttons: clear data or move to USB storage. And the one you want to press is move to USB storage, which again really means move to external storage your phone might say move to SD card so all you do is you just tap it that's the one button I was talking about so I'm gonna tap it and it typically takes about three to four seconds for me recording this video it actually takes a little bit longer because it's one point you know almost a, uh, a megabyte and a half uh, but once it's done it'll it'll stop saying moving and it'll say move to phone meaning move it back to the SD card um, so after you've moved it to the external car external memory you actually have the option to move it to the internal stair, the internal memory, and this is important for one huge reason. If your if the app, if you know there's there's a lot of apps that have widgets, which are um, fun, you know they're little functions or little functions of the app that you can have on your on your desktop. For example, I'm going to put a widget on here right now of Catch Notes. It's like a no app akin to Evernote okay and the way this works is you know you tap on it and you can add things um, or you can you know tap on here and it brings it up um, but check this out if I go into settings applications manage applications I'm going to catch and move that to the external storage that actually believe it or not makes it so that that widget will stop working why well for some reason uh, you know not understood by me in order for your widgets to work they actually have to be installed on your internal memory so if you're going through and you're just just trying to get some space um, on your internal memory to actually be able to download apps um, 
and you just you notice that one of your widgets isn't working it really might be that that widget needs to be on the um, well, it's not that it might be. That is the problem. You basically just need to move that app back to the internal storage. So, for example, now that I've moved this uh, to the external storage, if I come over here and, and tap on it, nothing's going to happen. It's not working because, well, I've, um, I've moved it to the external. So, that's why it's beneficial to know how to move it back. So that you can get your apps to work again. But anyway, I'm not going to do it right now, just for sake of time. Um, however, I have moved two apps over to the the external storage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the storage and see how the numbers have changed. So I now have 877 megabytes available in the internal, whereas before I had 876. So that that was um, that increased, and for the external memory I used to have 11.15 gigabytes and I now have 11.12 so you kinda see how that works however the next problem you might come across as you're doing this is um, let's say we're in here manage applications you're going through and let's say there's one oh you know this is 3.33 megabytes I'm totally gonna move this over well guess what you can't it's it's grayed out there's just some apps that that you can some apps that you can't move over to your SD card. Um, so how you know how do you go about it? How do you just go through and you know do you just have to look on each one? That can get kind of annoying. Well, check this out. There's an app called App to SD, and there's actually a ton of them. You can just go into your um, into your Android Market and do a search for um, Store to SD card, and you'll find a ton of apps. And this one I just downloaded just to show you. I thought it would be easy, or it's got an easy format. And really, any of them will work. There's some that like are a pro version, and some are a light version. And I, this is again a call out to developers. If you can prove to me why it would be beneficial to download an app that would cost me money when there's ones that can can do it for free, then then I'll tell everybody else. But really, the free ones are just fine. So I'll, let me tell you why it would be beneficial to download one of these apps when you launch it. Most most of these apps that help you move apps to SD to your SD card or your external storage have two tabs up here. It'll show you which apps are on your phone and which apps are on your SD card. As you can see, it's the two that we've already moved. However, one of the really cool benefits is that it excludes all the apps that you can't move. For example, the Gmail app that we looked that we looked at isn't on here, so that's pretty cool. So then, that's one benefit. The second benefit is instead of like going doing this menu settings applications manage apps and then look for one instead of doing all that when you're you use this app you just you tap it and you're already at the screen to just tap on an app and move it to the SD card that easy so it's a it's a time saver that way but what if you have like oh i don't know 20 50 60 100 apps that you want to move um, there's actually a little bit easier way to go about that. Um, and it actually, it, it's kind of a small thing. But what you do is you hit, you tap menu. And there is an, a move all feature. And basically all this does is it'll bring you to this screen. And then you can either choose to tap move to USB storage. Or if you hit the back button, it'll automatically take you to the very next one. For example, Carl's Mortgage Calculator. I am going to move this one. And after it gets done moving, all I do is tap the back button again, and it'll take me to the very next one, and so on and so forth. So that makes it really easy as well. And now, as soon as this gets done downloading, or it gets done moving to the SD card, I'll show you. Again, this process really, you know, in real life is only like three to four seconds. But because I'm recording this video, it does take a little bit longer. Um, but this should be done. Okay, so then I hit back again, and it just takes me to the very next one. So I'm just going to like flip through all these and just keep hitting back until I'm done. Um, and then I can hit on an SD card, and boom, I'm here again to... Um, it shows me which are on the SD card. The last thing that's actually really neat about this app that I'll go over here, they actually have a couple of more functions. If you hit menu, if you're on the phone side and hit menu, 
um, you can do an exclude list which basically um, you can tell your phone which which apps you don't want to move to your SD card when you're doing a move all function um, oh, I did it again hold on and that's beneficial so you can tell it you know these apps have widgets don't move these but the last thing I want to tell you guys about this is um, instead of getting to the point to where you can no longer move any apps it might be smart to do it one at a time as you are downloading apps well you probably forget if you're like me well the, the nice thing about this apps and most move to SD card type apps is that once you download an app it'll actually um, throw up a notification on your on your notification bar so you can remember to come in here and just move it over so that's that's another nice thing as well so that in a nutshell is everything that you probably need to know about internal storage external storage and how to avoid that problem of not having enough storage on your Android phone when in reality you do um, so if you guys have any questions about that feel free to send an email to staff at practically android.com or send the voicemail to 385-200-0140 or just feel free to go into our, our website, practicallyandroid.com. Um, and on the top right-hand corner of the page, there is a link that says Android Questions. You can drop in your question, comments, or stories there. Um, and remember, as always, for a more practical life, practicallyandroid.com. Take care, y'all. We would like to welcome uh, man. and manage applications. And you know, depending on your phone, that that process may be a little different. But basically, you're gonna, you're looking for manage applications, and you're going to want to look into the downloaded. Oh shoot! I was doing the wrong thing. Hatch. Let's go in the blooper reel. Android.com, or you can leave us a voicemail at three eight five two zero four. I always forget what that is.